So you might have seen this video on the shorts. Let's kind of go through it and how I created it really quickly using some add-ons. Select all, delete everything, into mesh, plane, scale, 20-ish. Right-click, subdivide, just kind of like a few times. And then what I end up doing is just kind of grabbing some of the points here over proportional editing, G to the Z, and we'll just kind of scale that up just to have a bit of a uneven terrain. From here, what I've done is I'm using Botanica add-on. Um, however, I am going to be using the Geo Scatter um, part of it. Select that. We select what type of scattering we want. From there, into the biome scatter. Open up the biomes. I don't know. We could probably go something like mm, conifers biome. Let's select maybe this one here. We'll import all that. And so now the computer's not going to be very happy at all the geometry. No, actually, it's not too bad. From here, let's kind of get rid of that window. We'll jump back into all the Polygonia stuff. Um, let's select our Egon add-on. We're going to go into Browse Assets. Uh, whoops, let's not do that. Dang it! <laughs> it always gets me. Let's jump into traffic. I want sports cars. Um, you know, we could even put in, you know, like a McLaren in the mix there. So we've got a McLaren just sitting amongst the trees, whatevs. From there, just going to move it up a little bit, back into the add-on. We want to make this car editable. Oh my goodness, I'm having a stroke today. Come down to the bottom here, we're going to select our ground plane. So this is going to be our ground plane. And then from here, we can set ground object for all, and that'll put the car sitting on the ground. From here, I'm just going to jump over into cycles over here on the right. Let's go into GPU, make sure we've done that. Max samples, 32 in the preview. And then I'm just going to set it to 64 samples. The noise threshold, I'm going to put in 0.05. Now, the point of that is, is to speed up render times. So the quality isn't going to be crisp. But the point of this animation is going to be going on like Instagram shorts or YouTube shorts, whatever you want to call them, Instagram reels. So the, so the quality doesn't need to be like super schmick. Um, with the denoise, we'll change that to OptiX just because it's a little bit better. Um, for the sky, if we go up into the world settings, click on this little, little yellow thing, just type in sky, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, we can throw in a camera now. Shift A to add in a camera. And I kind of want it from this viewpoint. So Control, Alt, Numpad, Zero. And that'll set our camera. Let's just do a quick test render with F12. Now you can see a whole bunch of rocks in there. It's sitting amongst bushes. That's fine. The ground is obviously white at the moment. So let's fix that up. Select the ground into materials, new material. Let's get a brown color and we're going to make the roughness go up. Now, if I do another render, we should see that the ground's going to be brown. The weeds are going to be okay. We can probably use a texture, but that's okay for that because we've got so many um, plants in the ground, but we will lower the camera angle as well to kind of hide that. Control Alt Numpad Zero, and I think that's going to be fine. Now, to do that walking animation, that's actually uh, fairly straightforward. So we are going to probably start from here. I'm going to press I to set in the keyframe. All right, it's back to this problem. Key set failed, that's fine. Where it says playback, so king, there. If we go close that, select our key, I want location and rotation. Now if I press I, it says a keyframe. Now let's kind of like bring the camera forward. I just kind of want to position it maybe to there-ish. The plant's in the car, isn't it? It is. Yeah, there's a bush in the car. <laughs> we won't worry about that, we'll come back to it. Um, let's go probably to frame 200, not that it man matters because I'm not going to render this thing. Let's move it forward, something like this. I think we should be a little bit higher because at the end of the day, a person's normally taller than the car. So let's go back into keyframe one, GZ, and we'll rotate that to be something like that. I to set that rotation. And you can see how we've got a Bezier curve, which we don't want. So I'm actually going to select it, T, and let's just go into linear. And so it's going to be kind of like a linear animation from point A to point B. Up into the animation tab, we're going to click on this thing and we'll go into the graph editor. And what I'm going to do is first select the X rotation. And if I press the period key, we can see that's where it is. Let's go into modifiers, add modifier, noise. Now, obviously, if we kind of go through it here, 
it's going to be it's like we're having a stroke which is not what we want so we'll scale it out offset i'm going to make about 0.2 oh sorry the strength i'm going to make about 0.2 and so now if we press play you can kind of see that we've got that bobble effect now we're going to do it on the z into modifiers add modifier noise and i don't know whatever looks good strength we'll make that one 0.2 as well I find that's just a nice number give it a bit of an offset and then so if we press play you can see how as if we're treading along through the forest one last thing that i did do is select the camera and we went into depth of field and then selected the car and then that's how we got just a bit of a depth of field and that's about it like and subscribe if you want more oh, so, oh links in the description